because it's stopped. Okay, our next speaker is Dr. Abuzer Yakarov-Mats from Quartum Word Association and University of uh, Latvia. He will talk about Q Word and creating opportunities to join the second quantum revolution. So, please. Okay, thank, thank you, Andri. <clears throat> Uh, thank you very much for invitation. Uh, this is, a, in my opinion, a very timely and a great event. Uh, I will also talk after Araceli and uh, Simon. That's also good. I think you are already convinced uh, how important uh, to be quantum ready. Uh, also, how uh, building an ecosystem is important. Uh, I will try to mention shortly about QWERT and also maybe some uh, practical thing what uh, Simon did already. Uh, if you noticed previously, there are already also uh, several uh, national quantum programs. I mean, they are really taking very seriously and formally. Uh, in my opinion, this event is the kind of concrete step towards to that direction. And this is why it's also very important. Okay, uh, here is the title. Uh, our motto was invite everyone uh, to join the second quantum revolution. Uh, we created like four years ago. But practically that means you, we need to create opportunities. Uh, in this way, we can invite the people. So uh, I will uh, shortly mention and review what we are doing as QWORD. Uh, our uh, main goal is to uh, create a global movement uh, to promote uh, quantum computers, uh, quantum software, quantum technologies. Uh, and as I also said, uh, try to create opportunities uh, to teach, to learn quantum, and also to introduce to uh, research on the quantum topics. Uh, so our aim, uh, as I already mentioned, uh, by education and skill development, just uh, educate and make ready the next generation uh, for the quantum. Uh, here is the list what we are doing. Uh, we now also almost uh, three years as a keyword uh, we are operating. Until now, we offer all our events and programs for free, and probably we will uh, continue in the same uh, direction. And we did uh, several uh, events globally, locally, online, and on site. Uh, here I grouped them. Uh, we already organized uh, several workshops. Uh, we started to organize online courses. Uh, we have some uh, internal training programs. Uh, regarding research, uh, we are already uh, implementing a program called QInTurn. Uh, they are usually summer for seven months and third versions uh, already happening uh, this summer. It's fully online. And uh, we hosted, I think, 200 uh, interns last year and probably similar numbers we have this year. Uh, we have some research projects uh, because QWORD bring people also together. And we also have some study groups. Uh, besides that, we have uh, organizing conferences uh, already. Uh, we had Andre this year, uh, thanks to him, also join our second edition of Quantum Science Days. We have several webinars, talks, uh, also some hackathons, jams, uh, contests, and some other uh, activities, uh, events, or programs. Uh, also, especially we are establishing local quantum groups. We call them as uh, quantum cousins. So here are the numbers. Uh, when I count this morning, uh, last time it was around 100 event, and in, when I counted this morning, overall our numbers is around 150, all these uh, programs, workshops, etc. Uh, we handed out more than 5,000 diplomas. Uh, locally, we reach 30 countries, and as I mentioned already, interns, currently it's number 200, but probably it will exceed 300. This, after this summer, we also internally uh, trained several mentors and instructors, and their numbers is also 100. And our cousins, these local groups are also 25. Here you see the list of cousins. Uh, we started in uh, Eastern Europe. Uh, currently, we have more than 10 in Europe. Uh, and uh, I think Africa uh, would also catch uh, Europe soon. Uh, there are also some. Uh, ideas to reach several countries. Uh, currently we are 25 local groups. Uh, at the beginning we thought we could reach 50 maybe by end of 2023. It was a very ambitious plan, uh, but it seems we will uh, reach uh, 50. 
uh, and maybe not end of next year, maybe we would need uh, one more year. So uh, there are some procedures. Uh, we have some guidelines. We receive the applications. We organize the entangling events. Also, we regularly check uh, progress of uh, these cousins because we want them uh, some active local groups. So uh, first, I would like to mention uh, as an option, uh, maybe Ukraine can be established and why it is important. Uh, also, it doesn't need to be Ukraine and under keyword, but in my opinion, uh, there should be some uh, such groups. It can be quantum Ukraine or some different name. Uh, so from our cousins, what we are doing, I put a list here. Uh, so already Araceli also mentioned, uh, there are researchers, they are uh, already busy, for example. Uh, they are also dealing with very technical, uh, but for building a community, we need uh, wider, uh, we reach wider people, and also we need some uh, several volunteers. Uh, so this is why I said the first aim is building a quantum community, and it shouldn't be like uh, extra tasks for researchers. Uh, probably it wouldn't work. It's just uh, we, uh, how can I say, limited uh, reach out uh, and also extra work. This is why uh, such community should have researchers, students from all levels. Uh, from our experience, we also see that several high school students are already joining and doing volunteer works. People from industry and also in the previous uh, talks uh, also, Simon mentions already some artists, musicians, and uh, similar people uh, are also joining such communities, and they are even uh, doing some quantum arts, uh, let's say. So when uh, you have such uh, community, you also have a communication platform. For example, as a keyword, we have a Discord, and we already have uh, around 2,000 people, I guess. And in this way, uh, you can be in touch, uh, always active. Uh, communications. Uh, also, you can use social platforms. You can reach different of people's Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. Each has different potentials. Uh, so it seems this tree is kind of must and even you can add some more uh, platforms. Uh, and also you can create content in the local languages. Uh, so for example, this event already uh, having some content and they can be put on some dedicated YouTube. Also, people can write some blog posts or they can use similar uh, platforms. Also, uh, several resources exist and uh, sometimes language can be a barrier. Uh, even uh, several uh, university students know English today, but still I think uh, your own language is always easier. And uh, some uh, fundamental resource or important resource can be translated. Uh, one success story in uh, under keyword uh, I think Turkey had a team to translate Kiskit, for example, to Turkish. And now we have some uh, tutorials, our own tutorials, and uh, there is also a plan to translate them to into different local languages. And uh, such group can also organize several uh, outreach activities. They can be workshops, hackathons, content, seminars. Uh, developing games, playing games. Uh, Simon already mentioned, Simon already mentioned uh, several outreach activities. Uh, so such local group can also manage this. Uh, besides that, uh, students, school teachers, instructors also can be trained internally, and then they can reach the students uh, in this way. Uh, overall, uh, it's a very valuable experience. We are seeing from uh, our young generations, uh, depends on their schedule. They are coming for one year, two year, and they really getting amazing uh, also experiences. We believe that it will be helpful for the future. Uh, so in our opinion, already first step towards the national program for uh, quantum national program in Ukraine started with this event. And some community, uh, as I mentioned here, would be uh, a good player also uh, besides other uh, activities. And uh, if it will be under keyword, uh, we can also share our experiences and it can be Ukraine or it can be some other name and uh, some other uh, group, it's also fine. Uh, if it would be Ukraine, let me also shortly mention how uh, the procedures happening. First of all, we need the initial team, at least uh, two, three interested individuals. Usually it starts in this way. 
And we also asked them one of them should be from academia because the connection uh, with academia should be strong. We have a outline. Uh, usually this team should read to understand what is expected, uh, what can be gained, etc. And then they are contacting our coordinators. We organize an entangling event. This is uh, an introductory level workshop. And in this way, we already reach also several more people. And uh, such workshops are also uh, recruit new people. So this is also important entangling event. And in this way, even this initial team can be expanded. And then uh, all is, if all is success, both parties are happy, then we welcome our new cousin. Uh, so uh, currently Ukraine has a very special, uh, unfortunately, situation. And when we thought about what we can do extra, I mean, uh, because of uh, this war, uh, so additional support we can provide. For example, there are already several uh, neighbor countries. If there will be some initial team and maybe we can also join uh, some other members to this uh, initialization of Q Ukraine and maybe operating for a while. So we can uh, be also a member of Q Ukraine for a while. Uh, as long as it's needed. And in this way, uh, also they have uh, less uh, tasks, let's say. Also this experience can be shared directly. And additionally, uh, maybe several events can be organized at the beginning also together. Uh, I mean, Ukraine shouldn't just organize by themselves. We have Q Latvia, we have Q Poland, Q Slovakia, Q Czech, Q Hungary, Q Romania. There is also Q Turkey. Um, so several events can also be done. So this is one thing uh, I want to mention. Uh, so currently we have uh, four series of workshops. I mentioned them because they are widely being operating. Uh, we have an introductory workshop. Uh, usually one participants, uh, for each of them, usually participants spends uh, 20 hours. They are fully uh, hands-on experience. Uh, you are learning uh, quantum. Uh, basically by solving several programming tasks. There are also some homeworks. If, if you are succeeded, you are also getting uh, some certificate from uh, QWORD. Uh, currently we have bronze and silver, the main material. In this way, you start from classical system and you complete the Schwarz algorithm. And we separated this uh, oracular algorithm uh, because we think that they are maybe not so pedagogical, but still we have an extra workshop for this. And in some cases, uh, our assumptions are uh, really basic. I mean, they just need to know high school uh, math and little programming. Even if they don't know them, we have also Q prep, just uh, make a preparation for this Q bronze. And we expect to increase our workshops uh, each year. At the beginning, we had Q bronze. Now we have four uh, such workshops. Uh, another thing I would like to mention. Uh, last year, we uh, conducted our first graduate level uh, fully online course. It was also free. Uh, so it was accredited a course from University of Latvia. Uh, I was going to already teach course in Latvia. And usually we have uh, two, three uh, undergrad, uh, sorry, graduate students for such courses uh, because population is uh, quite low. Uh, I'm a small country. But we open it under QWORD and uh, last year 100 students uh, finished this. Uh, this course implemented fully online and we really use a lot of tools. Uh, it was uh, also free. Uh, then uh, there are several solutions. Uh, you just combine them. Uh, it was six credit course uh, and it has two phases. It had two phases, lecture and uh, term projects. And in uh, lecture phase, as I thought, we have two tutorials, bronze and silver. We basically uh, teach it based on it. And there were several uh, quizzes, online quizzes. And 100 students uh, completed this phase. And then we switched to project phase. Uh, and then uh, 30 projects completed by more than, uh, more than 30 projects completed by 50 students. Also, we had several uh, Q webinars from this course. Here are some statistics. Uh, we had students from uh, 25 countries. At that time, we uh, made announcement uh, very limited time. Uh, we, we kind of barely managed uh, and started course immediately. And we had uh, people from different age. 
from 19 years old to 61 uh, years old. And indeed seven students really like over the forties. This is also evidence that uh, from all age, I mean, uh, there is an interest to learn uh, quantum computing. Uh, here are some other statistics. On average, uh, they work uh, six hours per week. Uh, our course was uh, time demanding. Uh, so uh, many students drop out because they thought maybe they don't need to work uh, constantly, etc. But uh, yeah, it, it's, it's really time demanding. So, uh, why I am mentioning this? Because we will uh, implement its second edition. Uh, this time we replace project phase with the self-study phase. And this self-study phase, there will be modules. They will learn after the basics. And then we will give one month to, to learn uh, some other quantum topics. Uh, currently we have some five, six uh, options. Uh, and then they can learn by themselves. Uh, of course, there will be some online lectures, etc. But basically, uh, we expect some self-study here. Uh, uh, at the end, it's designed as a graduate course. Uh, and it will be, again, uh, free, fully online. And uh, we also decided to give uh, priorities uh, to students from Ukraine. Uh, our aim was 300 students. But uh, we decided to make it 400. So if there will be interest uh, from Ukraine, uh, we would be very happy and welcome uh, the students. And we would be happy to accept as much as possible students. Uh, I mean, if you are interested as an instructor, uh, you can also maybe find a way uh, to get credit locally of your students. Uh, we can discuss details. Uh, at the end, uh, University of Latvia, it's accredited course and uh, some uh, signed document from University of Latvia is possible to obtain. Uh, so uh, even students uh, can get this. Uh, you may focus on the lecture phase and uh, even undergrad students just finish lecture phase and then they can get credits in this way or you can just see it as a complete course and then uh, like they can get graduate, uh, I mean, uh, they graduate from the full course. Uh, here are uh, times, I, Wednesday and Mondays, it will be between 6 and 8 p.m. So what else when we thought what we can support? Uh, we would be happy to share our experience. Now we have uh, several experience for uh, conducting online uh, sessions. Uh, what can we do? We can just meet online meeting and we can answer your questions. So this, this, we would be very happy, no problem for this. If you would like to uh, offer some Q courses and accepting maybe students also from all around the world, we can also discuss it. Also these classes can be small, doesn't need to be some hundreds, etc. Uh, if you think some online seminar course, and maybe to find some students in this way. Uh, we are also happy to discuss, or if you have some proposal, uh, I don't know. So we are open to help uh, this way or that way. And yeah, uh, basically here are how you can contact me. You can uh, just visit our website and you can reach, or you can send email to my name, surname.qworld.net or just info uh, at the bottom, you can see qword.net, or you can contact organizers. Uh, they are already know me. Uh, so th these are the things uh, I want to mention. Thank you. So thank you very much. Thank you very much for your talk. And now we're going to questions. Yeah, Alexander, please. I'm waiting for others. So. Uh, uh, thank you, Abu, for this uh, instructive things. Uh, uh, and uh, f first, uh, uh, actually, the general question uh, to, to all of you. I, uh, so, so it is uh, maybe you uh, uh, the point of entrance to your uh, to, to your site for students. I under the, the, the best point. I understand that uh, actually it should be the home page, and home page should be should be clear how to. But but, but maybe you could suggest, especially for masters for masters who are choosing the courses. It is just uh, one question. Yeah, it doesn't need an uh, answer now. This is just- but that, that, uh, There will be dedicated course page. Uh, yeah. We are, uh, it's, it's uh, not ready completely. When it's ready, 
I can share and all information will be there, including application form. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, I, uh, I also was uh, a bit, uh, it was uh, unexpected for me. I, from previous communication, I, uh, I expect, I, I, I was surprised to see that physics, 40% of physics, because, uh, because I, I, I thought that mainly, uh, mainly you have a computer, a quantum computing. Uh, but uh, it is uh, which uh, which computer science which courses uh, you actually uh, this is uh, i mean officially it is at university of latvia is a course of faculty of computing uh, but as previous uh, speakers mentioned it's open to anyone who is interested we had several people uh, from the industry, even we had a person 61 ah, years old okay. from I, I, Argentina. I okay. So I just I just thought that it is it is 40% of your open courses are courses related to physics. No, 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 no. Ah, okay, uh, okay. I okay. mean uh, we yeah. follow some strategy, like mm -hmm. even uh, without knowing physics, you can manage to learn. Mm -hmm. uh, this okay. is already an argument, and we are kind of implementing it. I and know. it's kind of successful. You don't need to go several physical stuff, etc. Uh, these are statistics uh, from the fields. Uh, okay, I understand. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Other questions? Or maybe some comments? And once more again, I my maybe comment for not for speaker solely, but uh, to other uh, for people from Ukrainian educational community who is doing especially from uh, physics department of universities. If you are interested uh, to maybe to extend your program, your educational program, you may keep contact with QWORD. And uh, in this case, your student will have access maybe to some very nice courses that we do not have in Ukraine. And maybe it's also possible uh, to change, I don't know, now there are nine possibilities. So why not? And maybe students may also think they are here and uh, how to uh, how to attend these courses and after that maybe to discuss with administration of university how to consider that uh, uh, to consider credits obtained in this in this in framework of these courses yeah so, we, need, we need with some steps in this direction so we will yeah, yeah. we'll try this year and we'll see how and then of course some questions it will appear Maybe administration of physics department or professor may think about this, but students may also think may have initiatives separately and uh, try to, if, they, if you're interested to uh, attend some such courses, you maybe try to start it yourself and after that to discuss with your administration. Okay. No questions anymore. Thank you very much, Abu, for your okay. talk. So now we have lunch break. This will be uh, 